What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today we're going behind the scenes of my favorite sneaker startup, Adams. Got my hand on my first pair two years ago, was testing them out for three months, and got obsessed with the sneakers. Now I'm on my third pair. They're the only thing my feet will let me wear. And I think this is not only um, a really amazing sneaker and product, but it's a really cool startup. So today um, we're gonna go behind the scenes, you know, show you the Adams warehouse, the Adams shop, talk to the CEO and founder, Wakas, um, and really tell you all about this company. Let's go check it out. thing is quarter sizing to get the perfect fit they have 9.25 9.5 9.75 and once you get your fit I think like 25% of people have different or isn't it more than that 60% 60 of people have different size really? feet 60 so have different size yeah feet? 60 crazy. like I got the nice, uh, nice hand socks. up Christmas socks for so okay so this is a uh, we're gonna start off with the nine and a quarter nine and a quarter okay that for the all white, bro? Yeah, Gold. dude. I love all white. Just the season. Man, this is my first Adam's experience because Gally's been wearing these. Which one are those? These are the nine and a halves. Oh, that feels nice. I think that's nice a little better. Yeah. Pull for a mouse. Yeah, you want to stand up for me? Yeah. Cool. And then kind of bring this foot parallel with this one. Perfect. Yeah, that feels better. You got that little bit of room right there. Yeah. So there was a little, a little tighter. Yeah. Trying the full experience. Oh man, they feel nice. Everybody's got the white Adams. Oh yeah. Yeah. Man, this feels nice. nice. Yeah, you know, I'd actually say go up. Go up a quarter here. On the on the left one. You know what? Here, you know, what? make sure your heels are all the way in the back there. Yep. Yeah, try that quarter up and just see how you feel. Okay. Um, on the other foot. Don't on this one. Yeah, yeah. On the left. Yeah, on the left. Roping's got two different oh, no. sizes. Yes. Don't, worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So we got nine point five, nine point seven five. Yes. I don't think I've ever. Whoa, these laces are so stretchy. I like it. Slip on. Oh, I love slipping on shoes. Whoa, these are nice. And the shoes are actually like reinforced, right? Like yeah, this in the heel. But the way it's kind of designed with the heel, it's like meant yeah, for you to good. slip it on. Right? Yeah. yeah. How, how's the fit feeling? They feel great. So this one's a quarter size bigger? Yeah. Is that what it was? Yes. Wow. Does it feel weird that you have two different sizes? No, I mean, it feels natural. Like it's supposed to be this way. Awesome. <laughs> wow. Will you just kind of kick your heels back for me and just kind of make sure so I can, yeah, and then do the same. And I'll just kind of give it one more feel to make sure. Are they comfy? They're very comfy. Yeah, very, very comfortable. Really. Yeah, this is a good size. No, we also offer a 30 day no question to ask return policy. So like, walk, walk as much as you want. Cool. If you realize you decided, you know, you're not happy, you want a bigger size, you want a size, you can get it. Awesome. All right. Well, that was a so, lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, Kevin got a new pair of shoes. He loves them. Um, so I was thinking we could take a minute to say what makes Adams different? Like, yeah. Why is this different than the normal sneaker? Obviously, their whole thing is about perfect fit, quarter sizing, like you experienced. You have a yeah. 9.5, 9.75 on the other foot. Then they know your sizes. And so that's kind of in the Adams database. Whenever you order a pair, they're gonna custom size it perfectly to and you. Just send it to you, yeah. I mean, I think it's also just like, for the consumer to know that you have two different sized feet like that's a thing that i never would have thought of it's never available anywhere else so now you know and it's like okay well this is more like made for me and made to fit my foot yeah i thought it was awesome it's a great customer experience they were very helpful yeah to they were very... got the exact perfect fit hello it done? we did it we got brand yeah. new adams you love i love them Welcome to the team. thank you thank you <laughs> I think Adams are different from a lot of sneakers because they're less about cool and like a brand. Like there's no logos anywhere on the shoe. And it's really about like utility. Like like everything about the shoe is making it the best possible thing for your feet. Yeah. That's kind of the focus. 
Um, so I think that's a really kind of cool and different fresh take, like the quarter size, they wanna make sure it fits perfectly. They're super, super light. They have like the special sole here that has these holes in it. They are um, very, very light. Like, but, but it's also kind of like comfy and snug. Like I can stand a long time in these shoes and I won't feel like it's, you know, making my arches hurt or anything kind of like that. Um, I love them. I think these look fire. Like the white. The white? Looks, what do you guys think? They look so good. Fresh? And <laughs> I think my other favorite thing you'll see over time is like, the. I think I've saved like 10 hours of my life already just by not tying my shoes. Mm. They're literally designed, like the laces are super stretchy, stretchy and yeah. durable. That's super and nice. And they reinforce it at the heel. So it's literally built for you to never tie it and just slip it on. Yeah. So overall, I'd, great experience. The store's awesome. If you guys are ever in New York, definitely come by over the next few months at least when they're here uh come check it out open till january right here on elizabeth street um we'll put the link below ever since wearing these ever since i was personally converted to adams as sort of my everyday just go-to sneaker i realized that this had huge potential i mean think about it there's seven billion people on the planet soon to be eight that's like 15 billion feet you know <laughs> that all need something on them and i just think this is a comfier shoe than exists and is out there like they're 180 dollars a lot of people say they're super expensive but for me it's like i'm wearing this sneaker hundreds of times like that adds up to like cents per minute mm -hmm. and for a you know a huge game changer in the amount of comfort i have i think that's totally worth it and then like i got a new pair of jordans try those on and i'm like walking around my apartment and five minutes later i'm back in my adams because i'm like they're just not as comfy and so that's why i like invest when i had the opportunity to came up to invest in the company i was like wow i love this product I could see millions of people wearing these sneakers and just kind of a new paradigm of comfort in the shoe game. Um, and it's kind of an outside the box idea that doesn't get that much innovation that people aren't thinking about. You know, it's sneakers, they're boring. Um, but I think Adams is bringing a fresh take and they're just getting started. I mean, the sneaker's called the 000. So I have to think there's other models, newer versions in the works. And we're gonna try and get the inside scoop on that when we talk to the uh, co-founder and CEO, Wakas, back yeah, at, the, at the warehouse. Yeah, definitely. Stoked I, to check that out. I think they have like, there's so much potential. like. You know, some more innovation in the materials that they're using, waterproofing. Right. And I think that's going to be huge. Waterproofing. There was, and there was a thing that I was thinking that you could even like send your atoms back. This is in a really old TechCrunch article. They mentioned this idea and they would like analyze your soul and then kind of like tailor your next oh, pair yeah. to how you walk because people walk differently and that wears in the sneaker. For sure. Ways. Definitely. I notice um, that all the time. Yeah. Stepping up the pace of innovation of comfort in the sneaker market, which is a multi-billion dollar market. Like Definitely. tens of hundreds of, you know, 50 billion worth of sneakers are sold every single year. So if Adams can get, you know, even a small fraction of that, I think this personally has a piece in every single consumer's rotation. Like everybody should have a pair of Definitely. Adams for like, you just want to be on the go and not think about what you're wearing. Be a simple, be like easy, everyday simple. shoe. Like I just think it slots in. Even the guy who works at Adams said he was a huge sneaker head. I used to be a huge sneaker head. So it's interesting to see um, that sort of culture cross into Adam. So Vogue actually called this the most thoughtfully designed sneaker ever. And it, I think they go that goes to show of like, they're not trying to look cool. They're not adding an extra strap. They don't need the dangly thing. Like they just, every single thing, it's light. It's exactly. super durable. It's stretchy. It's reinforced in the right spots. It's the perfect size. Like it's all about making your feet happy. I think that's a different psychology than basically every other shoe company. Yeah, right. Anyways, Adams, you guys rock. Thanks so much for a great time. Thanks for a great experience. Thanks for the new shoes. Galley, thanks for the new shoes. And uh, all right, so we're going to be uh, heading to the factory now or the warehouse in Brooklyn. We're out. We're off to the Brooklyn Navy Yard. We're we'll all see off you guys to the, there. Yeah. All right. Peace. startup hub amazingly dope offices such a cool view you're gonna love it so we're headed to Adams HQ Adams founded by a husband and wife team Wakas and Sidra they're gonna show us around you're gonna ask them a couple questions it's gonna be awesome this is the lobby of the Brooklyn Navy Yard whoa look at this what did we just stumble upon collab with Russ and daughter easy to grow produce where you live work and eat Wow, look at all the little babies. I'm 
Kevin. Simon. Simon, nice to meet you. What's up, Simon Allen. Great to nice meet you. you. Uh, everyone, they're all kind of in a meeting right over there. Cool. Um, I was just about to. We're here with the co-founders of Adams, uh, Wakas and Sidra. Thanks for joining. Um, so I'm curious, can you tell us a little bit about, you know, how did you get uh, find yourself in the sneaker sort of shoe world? Yeah, I, uh, it's an interesting uh, start. We were still in Pakistan and running actually our first company, which was kind of like an internet agency. And we met with these craftsmen in our village in Pakistan, uh, in Okada. And, Originally, our idea was just to help craftsmen sell their shoes on the internet, like this Facebook page or something. The more we started working with them, we learned that we will have to do the marketing, the branding, the come up with the name, the price, the story, uh, and like also maybe even change the leather, the product quality. It's so all of that thing. So we like started our first shoe company there, and then we moved to the U.S. in 2015, uh, working with on drag press shoe company. And while in the U.S., we started learning more about the sneaker culture, more about what is uh, popular, what is getting more popular, and uh, business of comfort, uh, and uh, this whole movement around creativity. So we were like, okay, we should make a shoe that people can wear every single day, not just on special occasions. So that is what started Adams. Really cool. And so what was the aha moment of where you're like going from dress shoes to like just such a simple, clean sneaker? Um. I think the obsession with quality uh, that was always like, and uh, when like growing in, in Pakistan, I mean, it's hard to like talk about the quality from that sense. But I think over the period of time, like we built that. We did that. So when we were working on, on the sneaker, somehow like everything uh, come together and the idea of like making something so simple and beautiful and of high quality, which people can wear every day. And we are able to make that sneaker. I think that is the biggest aha moment, I would say. So the other part is like we, we have had a lot of friends who are buying our dress shoes and then we would like meet them often at some casual place and they would be wearing their everyday sneakers. <laughs> and we were like, oh, we put so much work into the leather shoes which were made, why they don't wear them? And, and the answer was like, they are not casual and they are not very uh, simple. And we wanted to like uh, uh, make a shoe that people can wear every day. And we saw Nike, Adidas and all these streetwear brands coming up with all different kind of shoes. So we wanted to go into one extreme of the design and the style. Uh, and the, there was one extreme was like all the dad sneakers and then there was all the athlete sneakers. Yeah. We wanted to go with something very, very simple, still like very, very comfortable and very high quality. So that is like one, uh, it, it, it was not just that one aha movement, it was like the, and we were also reading a lot of books. It was like a ongoing three month conversation where we were like, Okay, we need to make that shoe. Like kind of what is the shoe world missing? Like as yeah. a simple sneaker. And and the shoes are for, like you say, it's for creators. And so when I think of like Nike, they make it for athletes, but kind of, you know, I have a pair of Nikes, even though I'm not an athlete, but they kind of turn everybody into an athlete at certain times. Yeah. So can you kind of explain this idea of like built for creators and, and what that means? Uh, I think that we, we were, we look, when we came to the US, we looked at who are the people who inspire us every day? Like who are people we look up to? and uh, who is that we want to become. Uh, mm -hmm. And that is uh, how I would say that was to me the, the idea of people who are artists and designers. Right, and, and especially like um, artists and designers, they are not like now associated with one industry. There are a lot of creative people who are working in technology, like you, you are like, also a, a big influencer and as well as a creative person on YouTube. And those type of things were not available. So if I would say like, hey, talk about creative and artist uh, 15 or 20 years ago, that idea was very different. But now yeah. you can find like creative and artist people uh, who are chef, um, who are font artists, letter artists, and who are people who are working as a product designer in tech companies as well. Um, so I, I think the, uh, the, the idea of like creative, it's not like defined by one industry or not just like people who have their art display in museums or art galleries. Um, so I remember like when we were thinking about that, who are the people who inspired us? 
uh, we were continuously looking around and there were like a lot of people who inspired us at the time um, and we uh, we also traveled uh, in different countries dude at the same time and we went back to Pakistan as well and we figured out that there are a group of people in every industry who are inspiring other people and that is like the that. crowd where we are basically uh, I think it's super relevant even. And actually, this is very interesting because uh, that is a big part of why we, we started Atom. We, uh, we, are, we are inspired by the innovation happened in, in technology and it's happening in, in, in technology. Uh, all these amazing CEOs and the founders and the creators. And then the other part is you like writers and you like even a cartoonist at New Yorker, let's say Lisa Lovely. And we have also people like who are making these amazing movies both on for the for the Netflix or for also for like small clips for Instagram. And we also see artists uh, yeah. I actually recently met with an artist in Brooklyn who moved from Europe to just start his small career in art and he's like starting up and, and we also recently met someone in uh, in Hudson uh, town who started it uh, because he was so passionate about art he started uh, art business like as a he couldn't make or draw things but he became like a art collector and like seller and like a dealer in art so it's like interesting to see how how these are different people who like inspire us and we feel like uh, their work is becoming more and more meaningful it's not just what you do it's like what kind of wave and signal you are sending like even for like this video uh, would be to some extent educational about atoms, but what it would add into the into the into Listeners the ecosystem mind. of the YouTube, but also into the listener mind with other things they are interacting throughout the day. Really cool. And it seems like um, what kind of captured me about Adams is it seems like everyone's focused on how shoes look. And I love the look in, of Adams, of course, but like you're really focused on how they feel for your feet. And that to me has been the real game changer. It's like I can't describe why I love the product other than like it makes my feet happy and like it that makes me just feel better. So I'm kind of curious about like how did you think about designing it? There's lots of so many like details. I don't know if you could mention a couple of them that really make these kind of a next level like comfort. Right, so I, I think from day yeah, one. Let me actually let me actually also get get a pair. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. we we I don't want to talk. Oh yeah. 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 So particularly when we thought about designing atoms, um, I think we there were a lot of debate happening. Okay, clothing comes in fashion, or clothing comes as a basic items for people. How we want to design this product and. And the idea of like design was not how product look, but also how it feels when somebody wears. Yeah. So I think that was on top of our mind. And we wrote a big document, a Google Docs, where we, we wrote down that ideal everyday sneaker. And then we mentioned that, okay, if we want to make, this was just an idea. We had no idea how we we're going to make the shoes. And we made that document that if we have to make an ideal everyday shoes, what that should be. And we describe what that um, sole should be, how the upper material should be, how the laces would be, how the eyelets would be. And I think like most of that part we were able to like achieve, but still this is a work in progress. Yeah, and that, uh, I don't know if you have anything you wanted to add. Yeah, I, I would want to add one thing is like, we uh, we wanted to like focus on shoes that you can, you would want to wear every day. And, and when you want is something is not just what it is or how it works, but also how it makes you feel. And we did learn that most products that, or most things, or most people we like to talk or interact with every day tend to be simple. Like water mm -hmm. is an ultimate example of simplicity. We, we could not use it much and, and it's everywhere and it's so simple as well. Mm -hmm. And the Atoms shoes focus on the comfort, focus on durability, focus on the fit the quarter sizing, being able to have two different sizes for your left and right foot, elastic shoelaces, which you only have to tie them once and never again, and so many ideas in one shoes. Yeah. So we wanted to we wanted to like control the whole story and make it simple. We did not want our shoes to scream like, look at me, look at me, look at me, or this is happening, this is happening. We did not, we just wanted it to look like, almost it disappeared, everything disappeared, but everything works when you, when you wear it, when, then that's when you feel it. Yeah, yeah, we have like a lot of customers who said like when we received Adams and we, we felt, oh my God, these are very comfortable. But the ultimate comfort we felt after 100 days yep. or when we actually changed uh, Adams uh, to another shoes, when we wore another shoes and then we, we said, oh, this is a mistake. Like I should get back to Adams. Yep. So, yeah, 
I feel like I've told this story so many times, but like I got these pair of Jordans that I just have not been able to wear because every time I put them on, I'm like walking around my apartment. I'm like, no, nah, doesn't yeah. feel right. <laughs> it doesn't feel right. At all. Exactly that feeling is, I think. <laughs> um, and the other part is like when you, as a as a, as a company, you're focused on just making one product, just one. Like you don't yeah. make so you we just make one shoe, and if we don't make it good, we are not in the business. So that is like another thing is like. Uh, how we, we 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 have been asked and we have been suggested by just so many different people of do this, do that, launch yeah. this. We're like, oh no, we just need to put all of our focus, all of our energy into just one shoe that you would want to wear every day. You will have other shoes. Our customers, they have like some other more funky sneakers and they have dress shoes, but this becomes their default shoe. This becomes their like, you know, that default yeah. t-shirt or default uh, hat or like default font you have in your library this becomes that yeah and yeah. i think the especially the creative people once they figure out the high quality products or experiences around that they want to enjoy that in the same way. that's like embedded in, in, in that. yeah and i love the focus like just this focus on one product instead of like getting distracted making a million other things and refining it for like you know exactly what the use case is and you're designing it for that i think that's like part of the reason the product was so amazing is that focus and you mentioned something about a work in progress and it always kind of being a work in progress so i think ideologically adams is called the zero 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 mm -hmm. so it seems like um instead of designing a bunch of different shoes with the same tech you're con kind of innovating on the technology constant like thing almost like a software yeah. where it constantly updates itself with each new version so could you talk a little bit about you know the future uh, of where this all goes with the zero like the zero zero one is that coming yeah so yeah, so you, 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 go, you can talk about that. Yeah, so we, um, we are working on the next model, that's for sure. Uh, but I, I can't share like a lot more detail on that. Yeah, I think like, but, uh, I'll, I'll say something. Yes, so the idea is that how these shoes uh, uh, that you buy from Atoms become a process, not just one time transaction. And the way we are doing this, like we want to know what fits best to your each foot. Because fit helps us a lot with comfort. So now once we know your perfect fit, now we can play with a lot of things. Now we can play with the comfort. Now we can play with the style. I'm more, let's say, all black, all white kind of person. And, and you are more like colorful person. So you will have access to other colors from atoms, which not everyone will have. But we are able to do that because we have access to, the, the, to your fit, precise mm -hmm. fit of your each foot. And then the same thing can be applied to uh, that the materials that we are working on in our shoes and the same thing on the comfort uh, and there are things that we uh, we are not yet ready to talk about. Yeah, we but uh, we actually started working on this idea of like how we can make shoes better for you. Mm -hmm. So we once we know your shoe size, you buy shoes from Atoms, you become a member and you have your account, you can log in into that account. Uh, there are unique colors available for you. And now we are also working on very interesting idea of socks. So people who are living in those areas where the weather is like very medium type, so send, have socks, which is basically according to that weather. And people who are living in New York send them warmer socks. So like we are slowly going towards that idea where you will receive same atoms, but personalized for you. And Vakas will receive same atoms, but personalized for him. So it's it's in the pipeline. We are wow. going towards that. So that's the bigger idea that we are working on. Yeah, it's, a, it's just like a reversal of the entire psychology of the industry, I feel like, where it's like everyone's trying to fit in and be cool to like what this sneaker is or like who, which designer designed it versus Adams is like, how can we make it the best for you? Yes. And kind of like, there's this saying that's like, you don't want people to notice your suit, you want them to notice you in your suit. Yeah. And like, you look good, not the suit that looks good. That's, I think Adams changed, like, that, that's what these shoes are. No one's right. like, oh, those are the Jordans? Like, yeah. and they just think your Jordans are cool. Yeah. But no, they're like, oh, wow, you look pretty yeah. clean. Yeah. yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. and also it's, it's about you, like you are already, cool right everybody is doing something in their life where they are cool so how it, those people can express themselves we, we say this important. thing uh, internally that uh, it is what you do in your atoms that make them cool it's not that atoms itself I will make that. you cool yeah. so we that is like another ways that is like why we we think that our shoes when you will be wearing our shoes you will, you will feel our support about the whatever you do and whatever you make and, and we really mean it so we uh, we we did move to New York for the same reason. We wanted to be around more creatives and more artists. Uh, of course, like uh, we we love technology and, and it's it's a passion for us as well as like what are things that we can 
get inspired from like the Brooklyn, the Brooklyn Navy Yard and the Hudson River and like all these museums the city has to offer. So that is the idea of like, you do cool things in your atoms and hopefully they will inspire you to do more cool things. Yeah. And I guess lastly, I'm kind of, I don't know how much you can speak this, but the vision of the company, like one of the reasons I'm so excited to be involved is I'm like, okay, there's seven or 8 billion people. They all need comfy shoes. Like almost none of them have them. And this whole idea of like, you should have a personalized, like custom socks, custom shoes, or just a better way to do footwear. Um, and I think the addressable market for that is, is massive. Like not only is it a cool product in itself, this is something like literally every single human is a problem that they, they face. So you know, does that get you out of bed? Are you excited about like the, the bigger vision of what this could become? Yeah, I think the idea is like the, uh, yeah, whenever we see people, the first thing we look at is their feet, what our shoes they wear, <laughs> and, and we have become really good at that. So uh, the, this, uh, this idea of like how we become that company, which uh, becomes people's part of every day, and then uh, we, we make things for them they would want to use and wear every single day. Yeah, and this is the first year of the company. Like, we just launched in June publicly. Wow. And this time, when most of our team members went uh, uh, for Thanksgiving to their homes, they said, like, hey, they, uh, I supported, I, I actually uh, spotted Adams at the airport. Someone was wearing Adams, and that that feeling uh, is unbelievable. The first time I saw someone wearing Adams was uh, in nearby Brooklyn Navy Yard. That you didn't know. I didn't know. I wow. didn't know. That, that person bought so the cool. shoes. And then we uh, we also saw someone who was on the call in Manhattan, and that person was like walking and waiting for for the Uber. We we saw that person. And very interesting incident happened was uh, we were walking uh, with one of our friend and um, we, we were walking by and he was asking like, how you guys are doing your marketing? And he was asking that question and a guy, he was walking nearby and Lukas said, oh, he's wearing Adams. And then we went behind and, and, and our friend actually ran towards him and he said, hey, we should, we should stop that guy and ask like, how was his experience? Because this is a learning yeah. opportunity for you guys. And that person he mentioned, he saw Adams, some celebrity wearing, uh, was wearing Adams. So he searched about Adams on, on Google. And when he was coming for his trip to New York, he saw that we have a pop-up yeah. uh, in Elizabeth Street. So he bought our shoes from our pop-up. <laughs> so that story was all together was so beautiful. Yeah, the, the other part of this is like, we, yeah, we do think about our bigger region. We also don't want to forget and we, that we are we want to operate as like a small group of people and not like work as a big company. Mm -hmm. And that is just very important. So uh, we we have one step at a time, one, yeah. one foot after the other. <laughs> that is like our philosophy for the company. Definitely. And I think it's it's such a kind of underdog story of like you're competing with like the shoe industry, like not, it seems like not much innovation happens there. It's so like these big oligopoly kind of industries. So it's so cool to see like, just like, like you said, it, it's only a few months old or a year old to kind of watch this like blossom is, is really cool. Yeah, yeah. That, the thing I would, would say that is like, for example, when we were starting our uh, our shoes, we we worked on our shoelaces, we worked on our copper lining, we worked on our midsole foam, we worked on our outsole rubber, we worked on our eyelets. We don't, we did not make a whole world out of that everything because we saw that uh, a lot of the shoe industry traditionally they talk about their shoes uh, oh we we're making this innovation we're making that innovation we're making this innovation in our case is when we look at our shoes for example when we will be working on our next shoes sidra and i would be literally imagining you who you are what golly would want from our shoes and that changes a lot that changes how you design the shoes, how you approach your vendors for the materials, and then how you tell your story. When we went to Korea for the first time, uh, we were already working with those vendors for some time. We did, we gave them a, we gave them a whole presentation on our customer. We used the real pictures of our customers and we showed them who they are, where they come from, what they do and what they live and what they like and what they don't like about our early prototypes. And that helped them translate. And our, even our uh, factory, uh, uh, manufacturing partners, even our manufacturing partners, while they are working on our shoes, we ask them to wear items while working on them, so they know what they want to yeah. meet. And I think so. it, this the success of for us, like success of this company, or the success of like innovation in the product, is not just the what we are going to do with the innovation, but also how many uh, times people are going to wear items. Like, is this like part of their everyday? Is this their default shoes? are they wearing this most of the time? So that's the real success. And I think that that metric, like we all look very closely 
um, we're, to, yeah, like, we're not just competing against like for in sense like hey how how we are selling X number of shoes and the other person is selling Y number of shoes. We are competing against like hey, um, we want to become the 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 most favorite shoes if yeah. you want to say not just from like a most favorite shoes which you kind of just look up to and don't wear, most favorite shoes which is also very practical, very simple, very beautiful. Yeah, I love it. And to end on that note, like I, you, you've totally converted me because I'm on. I think this is my fourth pair. Yes. One of them is the Nyanza, and I'm not wearing those because yeah. they're just like I'm saving for some big future event. Yeah. <laughs> but, we end that with all black. It will look really. Oh, with all black. With yeah. All black. Yeah. yeah. Um, but anyway, we'll be following the progress on the channel. Really appreciate you guys uh, taking the time for this. It's so, so interesting yeah, to get a behind so the scenes look. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So that wraps it up. We've taken you behind the scenes of Adam, the world's most comfortable sneaker. Hope you enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Peace.